if you have never seen a slaughterhouse, you've never worked at one, you've never been to one, you've never seen animal suffering, go to the link. I'm going to put it like right here on top of my hand. Ho 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 ho. Click it. Click it real good. Let me make this perfectly fucking clear. I have no problem with killing animals for some meat. I love meat. It tastes so good. It's juicy. Nom, 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 nom. But what I do have a problem with is skinning them alive and slitting their throats while they're fully, fully fucking conscious. It's fucked up. How would you like to be skinned alive? You wouldn't. Um, <clears throat> death happens to us all. It is just the manner in which we die that it matters. Now, I could <clears throat> live with eating the meat of slaughtered animals in that manner, you know. I don't, it's, I, I don't have the biggest problem in the world with it. It's pretty minor compared to how they're treated during their entire lives. I really don't care about their deaths. What I care about is their lives. And from what I've seen in um, some videos that I recently have found on YouTube, it's pretty disturbing how they live their lives. <clears throat> Now, I have made it sort of a life goal to uh, not be a meat eater anymore unless there comes a day when humans don't torture animals anymore. But I don't see that day coming anytime soon. So I'm going to treat it like I treated cigarettes. Now, do I still smoke cigarettes? Yes, but I smoke probably two or three a month. I really reserve smoking them for when I'm extremely stressed out. So I'm gonna, what, what I did with cigarettes is I basically just cut back and cut back, you know, gradually. That's how, that's how you do shit. You don't, you're not going to quit cold turkey. That never works. By the way, I've quit smoking cigarettes more times than I can count. I consider fish caught in the ocean, not in fish farms. I consider fish caught in the ocean to be one of the luckiest sources of meat that we have. Considering that they don't have to live in basically fucking sludge their entire lives. But something I find inexcusable about the fishing industry is the bycatch. And what bycatch is, is whatever you're not specifically fishing for. Say you're fishing for fucking cod. And there's a dolphin in your net. Chances are that dolphin is going to be dead by the time you get to it. But, you know, if people can figure out how to get into outer fucking space, I think we can figure out how to catch one type of fish and not kill dolphins. And what they do with the bycatch is they just throw it right back in, alive or dead. They don't care. Most of the time, severely injured. Um, and... Another problem I have with fishing is the massive amount of fish we're pulling out of the sea. We're not going to have fish by the time I die. No, nobody's going to fucking even know what they are. They're going to be like dinosaurs. But yeah, so my thoughts on fixing the current situation with the fishing problem is... With the bycatch problem, more specifically. Care for the animals. Make sure that there's some sort of law or something in place that says you have to fucking take care of the bycatch and not just throw it back into the ocean. 
which is already so fucking congested with our garbage, we're just going to throw back dead bodies in it. Animal lovers, fuck you! Most of you are the biggest hypocrites in the world. You fucking say we are animal lovers because you like little fucking doggy foo-foo and Toto and you like that little gerbil in your cage. You're not animal lovers. You're pet lovers. If you eat at any fast food restaurant and you eat meat, you're a pet lover, not an animal lover. Stop fucking lying to yourself. Stop lying to everybody else. You're a pet lover. You like the cute fuzzy ones. The cute fuzzy ones that are socially acceptable in your country. Wait, I forgot. There's one bigger hypocrite than you. There are animal cops that eat meat at fast food joints and any inhumane sort of place that kills meat in bad ways and shit like that. Animal cops, you fucking go out and arrest people for minor abuses to animals. I know there are some actual cases out there that deem it necessary, but... Really? How are you going to go do that and then turn around and eat that meat? It's just... You're funny. Don't quote me on this. I'm not 100% sure if this is the correct fucking statistic. But I think it's somewhere around 60% of the world's grains are set aside for the meat industry. So that their pigs and their cows and their chickens and all that shit can eat. Um, you know, there's... I'm pretty sure there's over 10 billion animals. That's over 9,000! In the meat industry alone. Um, and I'm pretty sure around this time there's like 6 or 7 billion people. And I know at least one billion of them are hungry. I'm not going to say starving. Because that would pretty much mean Ethiopia sort of state. Uh, I'm, I'm including people, you know... I, I really don't believe there's starvation so much in America. I mean, we fucking throw food out. No, the, our hobos are fat. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fucking funny. Our hobos. Our homeless people. They have a beer gut. They are fat tubs of lard. If you like this video, clickety-clack. Yeah, that's right, I stole that sexy Phil's line. Clickety-clack that subscribe button. But he says it to the like button, oh well. Peace out, it's cruels.